this is David Petrosky. In today's video, I'll be discussing the repair and deduct remedy found in California Civil Code 1942. Please remember to click the subscribe button so that you'll be notified of future videos. Please understand that the rules surrounding landlord-tenant law in California is complicated. No legal advice is hereby given. I have been representing landlords since 2004. I'm a published author and a referral source for realtors, landlords, and attorneys. The repair and deduct remedy is the California law that provides for tenants under certain circumstances to make repairs to a rental property and deduct the amount of the repairs from the rent. A common question that both landlords and tenants have is when can a tenant use the repair and deduct remedy? The tenant must first notify the landlord, either orally or in writing, and writing is preferred, of problems relating to the habitability of the property. Once that notification has been given to the landlord, the tenant must give the landlord a reasonable time to make the repair. For example, 30 days. This 30 days is not set in stone. Depending on the severity of the issue, the time could be shorter than 30 days. Another common question that both landlords and tenants have is relating to the limitations on the repair and deduct remedy. The cost of the repair cannot be more than one month's worth of rent. Also, the tenant cannot use this remedy more than twice in any 12-month period. And of course, if a tenant decides to utilize the repair and deduct remedy, the tenant runs the risk of the landlord filing an eviction case against the tenant. So what are some other options that a tenant can use other than the repair and deduct remedy? One option is that a tenant can move out. If the tenant moves out of the rental property, the tenant does not need to make future rental payments and the tenant is discharged from other conditions under the lease. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. You can also visit us on the web at www.attorneydavid.com. Again, that website is www.attorneydavid.com. On that website, landlords can schedule a consultation and you can also view our landlord tenant blog where we talk about landlord tenant best practices and eviction matters. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much. Please remember to click the subscribe button so that you'll be notified of future videos.